everyone, today's video is going to be a all of the products I hit pan on video. I try to do these seasonally, um, so I should have posted this the day, the first day of winter, but I was on my honeymoon, so I didn't, and I probably should have posted it like earlier and earlier, but it just kept like getting lower and lower on the list, so I'm going to post it today. This is one of my Valentine's Day mugs. I don't know if you've seen this. Maybe you have. I have a lot of mugs. But today, these are every product that I've hit pan on that I still have. Um, I like these videos a lot. So I really liked these videos when I was still project panning because I felt like you could really see a difference. Because I'm not project panning, I feel like you don't see as much of a difference between videos. But I do declutter some things. Like I very recently, and I think it was actually my last video, I posted a mini declutter. And in that video, I decluttered something I had pan on. So you'll see things like that, and you can still see progress because obviously I still use these items. I just I'm not focusing in on them, and again, I just I'm loving it. I'm really loving not panning for the moment. You know, I feel like you have to do what you're feeling at the time, and for the moment, I love not panning. I really love this look I came up with today. Um, this silver that I'm obsessed with is a product I think I've only used once before. Because I didn't pan it. And it's um, an H&M single in the shade Over the Moon. I think this is one that definitely um, benefits from a glitter glue. And so I put a glitter glue down and then I put that on. And I feel like it looks like I have liquid silver on my lids. Huge fan of that. It also helps me not want to buy things. Because I'm just like still rediscovering things in my own collection. But anyway. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start with cheek products. I don't really have a reason why but it's what I'm gonna do. So first I have this Besame Cosmetics Cream Blush from the Snow White Collection. You can see this has gotten a lot of good use, but there's still a decent amount of product in there and I do feel like I could potentially use that up before it dries out. It is still pretty liquid. Um, I very recently declared something because it had dried out and there was so little left that I couldn't get it on my brush, but this, it's still going well for now but it's something I probably should start focusing on. Similarly is this NYX Cream Blush in the shade Natural. It broke. So this plastic thing that goes over the lid broke, which means that this is gonna be more and more prone to drying out. However, it is still sticky, so it's good. I really like this cream blush. I think it's, a, a, you know, natural is a perfect name for it because I think it's just a perfect light, kind of cool toned pink, that really flatters my personal skin tone. So big fan of this color. Um, but again, I probably need to start getting some use out of that because the uh, packaging broke on it. We're out of coffee. It happens. All right. Next I've got the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Hippo. If you follow me, you know I have a dog named Hippo. So of course I had to buy this. You can see the pan right there. This obviously came out in like chunks. You can see it's not like a nice smooth pan. It's like chunky pan. I don't really know. I love this highlighter still. It's a very like purpley pink shade, but it's very poppin'. I will say I get probably the most compliments as far as highlighters go when I use this shade. It also is a very nice inner corner highlight. I think I want to start trying to pull in some of my cheek products more to my eyes because if you don't know right now I'm only wearing eye makeup then you might be able to tell that today I don't know um because of COVID and I'm wearing a face mask every day so I don't want to put makeup on and then get it all in my face mask and then feel kind of gnarly so I'm only wearing eye makeup so I just literally have this much on um but that means that my cheek products are just kind of festering and just lavishing in there in my collection instead of actually like being used up and making progress so I might start focusing on that I have a blush on my eyes today because I just think it looks really nice all right next I have this this is the Mac Nutcracker Sweet collection I did use this on my wedding day this is also I have a couple of things that I'm call like fake pan because I didn't necessarily make the progress for it but this highlighter shattered and so I've got some pan, sorry, that's really annoying. I've got some pan in it, but this highlighter I used on my wedding day and I used this blush 
and some from the Laroque and Zip palette, but I just love this product. I think it's perfect. It's got that baked gelée formula, so I'm afraid to repress it because I think it would mess it up. Um, so I just use it, and I love it, and I think it's great. Um, it's an older product in my collection. This is an older MAC collection, but I think that highlighter is just absolutely stunning. Then I have another bit of like fake pan, if you will. This is the Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter. I got this, I want to say in a boxy charm. Hello, Kanga. She's humping. She does that. I don't know if y'all knew that, but Kanga is a humper, a humping dog. She likes to do it. Um, I got this in a boxy charm a long time ago, and I hadn't had it for very long where the entire thing just popped out. But there's still so much around this edges that I can very easily, you know, put my highlighter brush in and get. So I keep it. But it's got a lot of pan. But I didn't make that progress. Next I have this Sorme Cosmetics Bio Blush and Bronzer Duo. I think this is one of my older, oldest cheek products. I'm thinking maybe this weekend I might do a, like a look with using all of my oldest makeup. And then kind of deciding if I want to keep it. But I have a lot of pan on this bronzer. Not on this blush, but I do remember liking this blush. I think that bronzer is kind of a weird shade for me. So we'll see. It's like, it's kind of olive-y, which if you have an olive complexion, like a warm tone complexion, that might be great. But since I'm a cool tone, it looks a little weird. Next, we have the Polish Choice Blush It On Contour Kit. I was, I was panning this blush for how long, y'all? Like two years? Still there, still got quite a bit. I still like it though, it's a good blush. But, you know, that's what happens when you pan. And then, this is my last cheek product. We have the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze in Tantric. Barely anything left. I use this on my wedding day as well. We're so close to being finished. But, I'm not wearing cheek products, so that's why I haven't gotten more progress out of this. But it's close, it's close to being used up. I then have two cream shadows. Um, they're both Maybelline color tattoos. This one's bold gold, which does have more use out of it. You can see there's really not that much in there. And whenever I want a gold cream shadow, I, I pull in this. So, I mean, I know I'm using it. And I've also got inked in pink, which you can see through. And there is a little more product in there, but still. These are old. I remember when Maybelline, like, every collection would come out with a new uh, color tattoo. And they just kind of, like, let that collection die. But I think they're great products. And I still love Cream Shadow. But I know I think I'm the minority in that. So I get it from a business standpoint. I just like them. Next, we have something I actually have on my lids today. This hot pink shade is this color pop. Um, Super Shock Shadow in the shade Slave to Pink. And you can see I've got a decent amount of pan right there. Um, ColourPop shadows are super easy to hit pan on because you can even just like move this product around and it'll hit pan. I love this shade though. I think it's stunning. It is like exactly everything that I want in my whole life. So I use it a lot. Um, it does stain your lids, but it's a perfect shade. And then I've got a bunch of different palettes in which I have at least one eyeshadow with pan on it. I want to say almost all of these I've hit pan on through project panning. First we have the Tarte Magic Star palette. I say this every time but I swear I'm the only person in the whole wide world that bought this palette. My sister used some of these shades or let me rephrase I used some of these shades on my sister uh, on my wedding day. I love this palette still. I think it's great. You can see I have pan in the shade Getaway but you can hopefully appreciate that there's actually quite a few dips in this palette. I think it's a great palette. I really do. I think a lot of people missed out on that one. Then I have the Urban Decay Vice 4. Um, this was one of my first products I brought into my Project 10 uses. Um, I did decide to keep it, but this is definitely starting to go bad. There's no question about it. I love this flame shade the most, um, but it's a good palette. Then I have the Tarte Tartist Pro palette. John got me this. I think it was our first Christmas together. And what really happened was I got like that coupon from Sephora and John's like, well, I was going to get you something from Sephora, but I have no idea what you want. So I got like a 25 off coupon. And so then John purchased this, but I picked it out. Um, I would not buy this today, 
and I don't know. I'm gonna play with it. I think this is gonna come in a Project 10 uses quite soon, but I obviously have pain in this shade. Pan in the shade Edgy. Then we have the Sephora Minis World in Color palette. Obviously, if there's Disney makeup, I always want it. I haven't always bought it, which is good, but I always want it. And you can see I have quite a big pan in the shade. I think it's Miss Mini. Yeah, it's a decent red. It's not my best. I don't really have any great red shades, so if you have any suggestions, especially if it's a um, indie brand that you know has a really great red, please let me know because I do think that is something I'm realizing as I'm really diving in, loving my collection, getting use out of it. I, I'm missing some red. Next, this palette, which has all pan. This was my pan, that palette, for 2019. Every shade has pan in it. This shade is gone. This shade is barely hanging on. I think this is also gonna come in a Project 10 uses really soon because I don't know if it's worth keeping anymore. So I'm gonna play with it. That's why I have that project, to see if I still wanna keep things. And I've been decluttering so many things out of that project. So if you're into like watching people get use out of makeup, but also decluttering, I recommend you follow that, me along on that one because it's been good, it's been good. Really helping me hone in my collection. This is one of my favorite palettes, but it's not really. I love the look of it, I love the idea of it, but I don't love all the shades. I've got that shade Hatter, it's a great green. There's a lot of pan in it, but the rest of it is not very well loved. This was definitely one of those color, one of those palettes that's like predominantly neutral, but they had just enough pops of colors that made you feel like it was a colorful palette. This was also when anything that came out Disney, I bought the whole collection. So I have this entire, collection of these products was that a good idea no did I do it yes okay Kat Von D Me Vita Loca remix I've got pan in the shade skulls arguably one of the most famous and most highly reviewed of her palettes people still love that palette and still talk about how great it was I agree I think it's a great palette anytime I use it I'm like uh, it's probably time to go. It's probably gone bad, and it hasn't. At least mine hasn't. I know other people's has. And the last palette is a palette I still use almost every single day. It's the Urban Decay Smoked palette. I've got pan on two shades. This is the shade I use every day. It's backdoor. I use it on my brows. It's a great brow shade for me. I think I have defined brows, but they still look pretty natural, and that's what I like. So, there you go. And that's everything. So... I have a lot of pan, um, but I'm making progress and I'm really just loving my makeup. Um, I'm so glad I've taken a step back from project painting. For me, it's made me love makeup again. So if you're kind of getting to that point where you're kind of sick of it, so it, it worked for me, you know? I don't know if it worked for you. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, leave them down below. And I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.